Hi guys, Dave from Gorilla Painting here, and today we're going to be checking out the new Dark Imperium box set, which has just gone up for pre-order down in New Zealand, and will be flying over to pre-orders around the world over the next 24 hours. So this is one of two demo copies which my work got. I've already been uh, hard at work over the last couple of days assembling the models, um, which I'll be showing you in a second video shortly. But first of all, let's take a look at the box. So, got some really nice fancy box art with the Space Marine Primaris or the Big Marines as I'm going to refer to them in this video just because it's easier to say. And the Death Guard here. Let's spin it over. You see what we've got inside. So, we have got a 280 page rule book. We've got booklets for the Primaris Space Marines, we've got booklet for the Death Guard. 53 miniatures, including the Primaris Force, the Big Marine Force, and the Death Guard there. And it's showing some of the miniatures here, shown in actual size, which is quite cool. So, this is a little bit different from previous box sets. It has a nice slipcover. And then you crack it open here, and we have an inner box. So, the top tray, which on your copy will be... Nice and purity sealed here. This has the miniatures in it. So we'll get back to that in just a second. Going down, we have got our hardback rule book. So we'll take a quick little look. Been reading this uh, over the past two days. It's uh, got heaps and heaps of background fluff. Really nice new artwork as well as some um, classic stuff here for each of the armies. Really nice little Tyranid centerfold here. Won't show you the rules or deployment and stuff like that. You just wait and see until you uh, get your copy. But there we go. That's the hardback rulebook. So this by itself down here in New Zealand, I think it's going to retail for 100, 115. Um, so the fact that you get the full rulebook in the box the starter box set, not just a starter book, is really cool. Let's put that to one side. Then here's our Dark Imperium rules pack. So, got our Primaris booklet here. So, this has got the information on who they are, heraldry, and stuff like that. Um, data sheets at the end, and just another squiz at the models. So, this has just got the rules for the models in the, in the box here. It's um, Obviously, they're likely to get more units and stuff like that down the track. And then we've got the same for the Death Guard. Here. We have the all-important instructions. So one thing which is quite cool on these is they've got a color code and key um, at the start. So basically, it tells you where you're going to need to glue. If something's been assembled in the previous step, then it'll be blue. And the uh, stuff you're working on will be in gray. And if there's a different option as far as positioning a component and stuff, it will show up in green, and then it will tell you when it's complete. So, as I said, I've been assembling these models um, for a couple of days, about an hour and a half each night to do each force. So I started with the Big Marines last night, and tonight I've done the Death Guard. So, nice instructions here. You've got sort of a choice of your heights for your Inceptor Squad. And it's got a colour scheme guide as well for the Ultramarines, but also three other chapters here as well. And then moving on to the Plague Marines and Poxcasters and stuff like that. Just finished building the Blight Drone, it's a really, really cool model to put together. And again, we've got some colour schemes there, so that's great. Here is the rules, 40k. A lot smaller than they used to be. That's for sure. So this is your core rules in a handy little pocket size guide, which is going to be fantastic to take to games. Um, going through the big rule book, um, there's not actually a lot in there that you're going to need most of the time once you get used to the missions and stuff like that. So you won't need to lug it around all the time. You've got a really nice uh, decal sheet here. Doesn't look like we get much in the way of 
stuff for the Death Guard, but then again, their miniatures are fully icon iconography uh, covered. Sorry, I'm screwing my words up today. But you've got plenty of options for the big marines. Then we lift this little tray here, and we get down to the bottom. So you've got the all-important bases. You're going to need quite a lot of those. Some big ones. These new funky curved flight bases. A nice flexible ruler. Yep, that's going to be good for abusing your opponents with if they're beating you. And some nice shiny dice. So, pop all this back up. As you can see, it's packaged in such a way that your rule book isn't going to be taking any damage from your sprues, which are inside here. Now, that's been a problem with some of the Games Workshop kits in the past, is that the printed material inside tends to get dented and dinged up by the sprues, which isn't always what you want. So the fact that that's not going to be a problem is good. So, we cut ourselves into here, open it up. And behold, the plastic crack goodness. So, let's pull through the Death Guard. You get two of these sprues. These are your Poxwalker sprues. And there's one Plague Marine body on each of these. But the Plague Marines themselves, when you build them up, you're not actually getting a duplicate. So the Poxwalkers, there's two of each. Um, so they are a proper duplicate. These two Space Marines, or Plague Marines I should say, here and here, they actually have different chest pieces, heads and weapons and stuff which attach to them which are on a different sprue. So that's really cool because if you've only got seven Plague Marines in the box, you don't want them both looking the same. Then here's our Plague Marine character sprue. This has got most of them on there. And then here's the rest. So... We've got your parts for your blight drone, or bloat drone, I should say, one or the other. Um, you get plasma gun for one of the guys, and we've got the big Terminator dude's weapon and stuff like that. So they're all here. Then moving across to the other side, we have the Primaris slash Big Marine sprues. So there's a duplicate sprue here, which is for some of your Hell Blasters, for two of your Inceptors. Then. Your main character sprue for your sergeants, um, the captain, and stuff like that. And then finally, we've got the rest of the boys. So, there's not a huge amount of customization you can do with either sets of these miniatures. Um, you could do a little bit of sort of repositioning of the heads and stuff. Um, your big marines are probably going to be slightly easier to deal with just because they're a cleaner sculpt. Whereas your Death Guard, you've got um, a lot of different a lot of different icons all fitting together and stuff like that. But um, one thing which I can say is that I was really impressed with how both sets of miniatures went together. The Death Guard especially, um, you know, most most companies will sort of do legs, torsos, and sort of ball joints and stuff for the for the arms and um, and legs and stuff like that. Whereas Games Workshop will do things like, um, let's see if I can find it. So we've got sort of two halves of a body here and here which then have a central piece which goes goes between them. So the body's sort of coming together with a spine and two sets of arms and legs from either side and then backpacks and stuff on the back. So it lets them do a whole lot of really funky stuff in terms of undercutting and uh, recess detail and also build it together so that um, it's really, really work well and good holding the... Um, Hiding the mo the mold lines, I should say, and uh, keeping everything really nice and tidy. So they're really easy to put together, but they look really good once they're done. So this is the Dark Imperium box set. Hope you've enjoyed uh, checking this out. And if you stay tuned for my next video, which is going to be uploaded at the same time as this one, you'll be able to see the models once they're all put together.